in this video we will be discussing the concept of floor and ceiling this topic is so fundamental to computer science that i will be spending an entire video session in discussing these ideas so without further ado let us go to the definition of floor to begin with the floor of x also denoted as so let me insert some symbols to be able to uh, uh, give some clarity to this uh, there is a special character and I will choose the open format that is over here all the way down this one and uh, one and two and these are the two I need to insert I cannot choose more than one character I guess I have to do it one at oh this is very good floor of x so this is what it looks like oops yes so the definition goes like this the floor of x is defined as let me yeah the greatest integer less than or equal to So what does this mean? Let's go through some examples. What is the floor of 3.25? So let me do this. Let me insert some symbols in order to give clarity to it. Equals, what is it? The easy way to remember this, particularly in the case of positive numbers, is to remove these digits to the right of the decimal point and whatever is left behind is the answer. So the floor of 3.25 is 3. And if you go by the definition, the floor of x is an integer, 3 is an integer, so no problems. And uh, you might ask me, can it be? No, because 2 is, sure, 2 is less than 3.25, but 3 is also an integer less than 3.25, and you need to take the greatest of those, so the greatest is 3. Can it be 4? No, because 4 is not less than 3.25, 4 is greater. So the maximum integer that is below 3.25 which is 3 is what you need to take now you might wonder what is this equal to doing over here so let's take a look at a second example for this I will copy this and I will change this to five point oops this is not working for some reason okay something like this should do what about this now? Is it uh, the number 5? If you remove the decimal, the decimal and the digits to the right of the decimal point, is it 5? Maybe. Can it be 6? No, because 6 is not less than 5.00. 6 is greater. What about 4? It can be 4. 4 is less. But 4 is not the greatest integer. The greatest integer is 5. But now that's where the equal to is coming in. 5 is equal to 5.00. Let's take a look at one more example. What happens if this number were negative? What is it equal to? If you use the same trick 
removing the digits to the right of the decimal point and writing this answer as negative 3. Is it correct? No, it's not because negative 3 is greater than negative 3.25. You need to have someone that's less. So the only integer or no, the integer that is less than negative 3.25 is negative 4. But then you might ask me why not negative 5? Because negative 5, yeah sure it is less than negative 3.25 but negative 4 is also less than negative 3.25 and you need to take the greatest of those integers and the maximum of those integers was negative 4. So there you go. What about this one? Negative 5.00. What will it be? For negative 5.00. Of course it's going to be negative 5. Here the equality is coming into the picture. Equal to x. So negative 5 is equal to negative 5.00. So as you can see, when there is no when there are zeros to the right of the decimal point. Or when there's a simple or, or, or when this is a simple integer, whether it's positive or it's negative, the answer is the same. But if you have a fraction, then you have to worry about what the answer should be, and there you have to apply the definition. Let us take a look at uh, ceilings now. So I will add a new slide here. So the ceiling of x or seal of x as often mentioned in the literature or in notational form. Let me do this. Insert a special character and this time the character will be okay. Let me first select my font. This one. This and this. So these two characters together with the X in the middle. So I will close this, I will go here and I will do this. This is what how you denote the ceiling of X. Now what about the definition? It is defined to be, oops, this is not working. So what I need to do is the following. I have an idea. The oops, okay, this is not working. The what is it this time? Least or smallest integer once again it's an integer greater than or equal to x so look at the compare compare the two definitions if you go to the previous page in the case of the flow it was the greatest in the case of the ceiling it's the least or the smallest it's an integer in both cases what about this one less than or equal to coming back here greater than or equal to so that is the difference essential difference between the two let us do some examples now once again i will take those same four examples 3.25 so once again i will paste those two symbols at either end of this and uh, what does it equal to this time? Is it equal to 3? No, because 3 is less than 3.25. You need an integer, so it cannot be 3. It cannot be 2. 2 is also less. The smallest integer that is greater than this number is 4. Why not 5? Because 5 is not the smallest integer, 4 is, you can still find an integer smaller than 5. So you cannot be satisfied with 5. So 4 is the correct answer. What about 
the equal to once again the same situation arises 5.00 what is the ceiling of 5.00 5 as you can see and it's greater than or equal to 5.00 so the equal to is applicable in this situation let us uh, do the, the other two examples involving negative numbers what about negative 3.25 and what about negative 5 what is this equal to and what is this equal to what integer is less than no greater than negative 3.25 of course it is negative 3 negative 3 is greater than negative 3.25 and you might very well ask me why not negative 2 because negative 2 is not the smallest such integer you have one more integer smaller than negative 2 which is negative 3 which is greater than this so you uh, so negative 3 is the smallest integer greater than this why not negative 4 because negative 4 is less than this you don't want any less than integers now you want greater than integers what about this case negative 5 what is it equal to of course negative is equal to negative 5 because the equality applies in this case negative 5 is equal to negative 5.00 and it is the smallest integer equal to negative 5.00 less than or greater than or equal to negative 5.00 so this is what floors and ceilings are all about you need to be very careful when evaluating the flow and the ceiling of a negative number particularly when it has some digits to the right of the decimal point in the next video we will discuss modular reduction when either or both of the dividend and divisor have a negative sign and in that discussion, we will be using this idea of floors and ceilings very frequently.